Now, you mentioned uh, too much fun. Was, was that in part the DeRozan attempt on a 360? Is that what you Yeah, thinking? you know, again, we, we, do, we have a lot of fun as a team. You, we are a very close team, and they're good guys. So it was not meant in any disrespect. But the crowd was fest, festive, you know, and uh, kind of a special night. So, but we'll tone that down a, a, a little bit. Leo Bills. Leo B.S. Cowboy Kingdom. What did you think of uh, DeMarcus' overall performance tonight? And are you more comfortable starting Cousins or uh, DJ? No, we'll, we'll start either one of them. And I'm comfortable starting either one. You know, DeMarcus is another guy. This is the second time I've coached him. He helped us win the World Cup, double-double in the championship game. And he's uh, gotten himself in really good shape. He's a team player. Uh, gives us a different guy than DeAndre. They're, they're two, but they're two really good bigs, outstanding bigs. And today, for a little bit, we went inside to him. And, you know, we haven't had a chance to practice much. When we're in Chicago on Thursday, we'll have a good practice and try to get a little bit more in offensively so we, you know, we flow a little bit smoother than sometimes, some of the times tonight. Yeah. Dave Del Grande, USAB.com. Um, you mentioned the challenges that the Chinese defense gave for you guys. Yeah. You've got two different opponents coming up uh, that you haven't seen. Do you expect different challenges in those games, and do you kind of look forward to different challenges? Yeah, well, looking forward to ch playing different people and, uh, and different styles, more so than challenges. They're different styles. And I think coming into this, I would have not thought that Argentina and China would pressure us. You know, like they pressure our guards. Like in the NBA, you don't get, you know, you bring it up. And uh, so I think it's good just in case anybody does that because you, you just got to get accustomed to it. You know, I don't think there's much denial of passes in a 48-minute game, an NBA game. So those two things that I, I would not have expected, but they happen. And I think it was good for us. And we'll see what Venezuela does and then Nigeria. And uh, and then we're off to Rio. This is Yanxing from Ali Sports China. I guess uh -huh. this is a follow-up question to the previous. One. I guess this is a follow-up question okay. to the previous one. Uh, without the leader of the team, Yi Jianlin, China yeah. made some ad ad adjustments today. They changed the core rotation. Uh, they changed the lineup. Uh, what are some of the positives you've observed from this change? Well, first of all, for them to continue to play hard without their best player, you know, like he he had a really good game against us two nights ago. And um, uh, they're, they were still confident, and they played, they played hard. They played hard and together. And they had so much good movement on their offense, where Yi is a, is a guy that, at the end of a clock, can make a play for them uh, and because he's a really good player. They didn't have that tonight, and so sometimes at the end of the clock, you know, it didn't go as well for him. But he'll come back, I'm sure, right? I mean, he'll be he'll be back, yeah, and they'll benefit from playing playing this. I think they go right to Brazil from here, so they'll have a chance to acclimate themselves. Coach, it was pointed out that you're funny. Uh, I'm funny, <laughs> funny looking, or no, no, in humor. did you get the second word <laughs> no. there? Just and exactly, and uh, exactly that I am no, funny. No, 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 the joke was. Okay. I thought my three daughters were the only women allowed to <laughs> insult me. No. Let's start over. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to have a divorce here real quick. <laughs> All right. That you have a good sense of humor. And I'm right. wondering how humor became a part of your style. And then on the biggest stage, the Olympics, with pro athletes, how that works out. No, I, I, you know, again, I don't show it on the sidelines or anything like that. But my guys saw we have a good time. And they know that we, they can be themselves. And uh, uh, the use of humor at times to get a point across is really good or to give a guy a little jab you know at a timeout or whatever is good and it keeps it gets us close and it makes uh, them know me better you know and although I have six of the guys I've coached before so they they already know but the other guys it's up it's called adapting and they should not all adapt to me you know, or the rest of the coaching staff, we need to adapt to them also and, and so that this whole thing becomes ours, you know. And if we take ownership of it, then we got a better chance to win. 
and uh, the other teams will own what they do. We need to own what we what we do. Uh, you know, we spend a lot of time with the military. We're, um, you know, we had a couple of emotion, one really emotional day in Vegas uh, with a wounded warrior, and and then uh, our team is taken on uh, uh, being a, a supporter of TAPS, you know, tragedy assistance uh, program for survivors, and these are kids who are lost their fathers or mothers in combat, and we had an, an emotional thing in Vegas. Uh, we had TAPS kids in LA uh, on Thursday after our practice, uh, Marty Dempsey, the former chair of the Joint Chiefs will be at our practice and we'll have about 60 m uh, members of the TAPS families from around the country and uh, have a special thing there and a chance to break bread with them. So stuff like that. We've, uh, you know, we, we believe in having our guys, they, they see and they listen and uh, we won't own it unless we feel it you know, what it's like to play for our country. So in doing these things over the years, our guys do feel it. And, uh, and they're really proud of representing their country. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do an impersonation of KD, right? Imagine, <laughs> imagine I'm great and I'm seven feet tall and I can do anything. All right, you can't imagine that. So why don't you wait for him and I'm gonna get the heck out of here. All right, thank you.